tonight was passing the baton, meaning that you know we're all in a race, and the race is about the salvation of Israel. And uh, so our job now is to to encourage them as they begin to run their part of the race. Ari and Shira have done many different things over the years for the Lord here in Israel, and I think the fair issue is probably the greatest thing that they've done. So today was Ari basically taking the mantle and giving it to uh, to Asher and the five eldership couples to uh, raise up leaders for the next generation. אני גם רוצה להודות לכל החברים שעבדו כל כך הרבה שנים במדינה שלנו. אני מודה לכם. אני לא עוזב את הקהילה, זו קהילה שלי, אני, זו משפחה שלי, אבל אני מביא אותה שפית למי שירוץ מהר יותר, זה הזמן, זה הדור, ואני אוכל ליהנות מהפרי. ואיך שאני אוכל לעזור ולשרת, אני, אני כל הזמן נוכח. Something's new happening in the whole country now. We feel a new level of unity and cooperation. The body being built together, we believe is going to release a great revival in this country. It's a great day to be here today, to uh, celebrate with them this uh, transition. And uh, I really praise God. They've done a wonderful job, so I bless them in the name of Yeshua. And we see them as uh, real fathers and mothers, among the fathers and mothers of this land, you know, really, as I was said today, this generation of pioneers. We've done what we feel is a generation of foundational building, and uh, so our job now is to, to encourage them as they begin to run their part of the race, and uh, of course to continue to be in the congregation instead of as a father of the congregation, I'll be a, a, a grandfather of the congregation and, uh, and look at spiritual sons and daughters and, and be there to encourage and not get in the way. There's also something special, which was leaders from all over the area, in the Tel Aviv, greater Tel Aviv area, and all over Israel that came to be with us. So there was something special that I saw. I think uh, everyone received something today, and I, I even think that it brought us as a body, countrywide, into a deeper unity. I'm very optimistic about it, and I am very, very uh, hopeful when I look around and see the quality of people that God has brought forth in this generation in Israel. I'm very grateful. This last week, Sharon and I spent some quality time together. And one of the scriptures she mentioned to me was John 15, 16, that they would have fruit, and fruit that would last. Today, I felt that that came into being, that fruit is going to last as a result of what they've done here in the country, of the way that they have poured out their lives into others. It hasn't really been about just the two of them. It never was. It was about impacting, imparting, and resourcing, and giving, and preparing the next ones to run the race. I'm not saying there won't be challenges. We know that there will be persecution, there will be hardship, but uh, we will continue to grow and be blessed. So uh, we have a lot of confidence because it's already written.